Okay, we're gonna jump right into it today. We're going to almost, almost an island. That's where we're heading. And the only reason really that I'm driving and not riding a bike is just because it is a little, a little bit hot outside and I don't want to, one thing people forget a lot is you gotta remember, you gotta come back. So as much as it's cool to be adventurous, hot in the day, you still gotta ride back home. And I prefer to preserve that energy for you all. And goodness, it is great to have a C. Whew, okay, next stop is Almost island. Well, that's what I think the translation is because presque in French and Francais, quand tu dis presque, it means almost. So, um, yeah, if you're new around here, I, I'm fluent in French, so uh, <laughs> it uh, makes a lot of sense if that's how you say it. Presque. Il. Okay, so apparently, apparently before you go into Presque Isle, or Presque Island, almost island, there's a place that everyone says you have to try. It's this place. Sarah's Diner? No idea what's here, but we're going to, we're going to find out. And we're going to see if it's worth it. We're going to see if it's worth it. One thing I can tell you is we are definitely not going to sit outside, but we're not going to wait in that long, we're definitely not gonna wait in that long line right there. So we're gonna go inside and see what Sarah's has to offer. Apparently it's a, a must, must try place before you head into the island. place you have to experience. I haven't ordered the food, I don't know how the food tastes, but uh, based on the looks of everything, this is very unique. I get the chicken sandwich because I don't like it. You don't like the foot long? But is it famous here? Like, is yeah, something? everyone gets it. The hot dog? Yeah. I think I have to try, I have to get that one. If everyone... That was fast. <laughs> Thank you. And I had a milkshake too? Um, it'll come over here. Oh, okay, cool. Thank you. Okay. Okay. So I got the foot long because that's what they say is like what the popular thing. First thing is you gotta try the fries. Mm -hmm. You cook better than hot dog? Not bad. Not bad. I give it a... Uh, 7 out of 10 for the food. And 11 out of 10 for the design, the setup of everything here.
Yeah, so I'd say overall, the food is like a six, seven. The environment is like a 10 out of 10. But, but the design, the structure, the theme of it, 11 out of 10. I don't know if I'd come back here for the food, at least not for the hot dog. But I'd stop back here again though. An honest, true, true review. And one thing I will say is the milkshake, that is a um, 8.5 out of 10. 8.5 out of 10. But Sarah's, I found actually a piece of paper that explained a little bit better. There we are. World famous Smith's hot dogs. It's almost like a traditional stop. Not for the great food, but for the, the tradition. At least for me. Some people might love it a lot. But um, that's an honest review. Now we're going to get on the road and back to heading to... The one recommendation I would give though if you are doing it is to make sure that you... Maybe it's best to not even park, um, park in that parking lot. Park in another parking lot or across the street. Because traffic is crazy in that parking lot. And so what I know about this place, Presqu'il, is it was, uh, this is where they built a lot of the ships, I want to say. And they built a lot of the naval ships here during the French and Indian War. Um, was built here by one guy, I can't remember his name exactly, was really famous for here. And it really is almost an island, like it's connected by a small piece. And if you're not from here, it's almost like a little, a little, um, it's like a little Florida that just tips right out and it's almost below water. Like we are really close to sea level. But really, really cool. Like this is really cool. Like the whole time, if you guys have watched the B-roll closely, the, the beginning of this vlog, how it starts, I shot the video outside of my hotel room and that overlooks a piece of land which I thought was a piece of land connected, like not in partially an island. So what, this part that we're on right now is what you see every morning almost at the beginning of the vlogs. And now we just have the time to uh, ride around and check it out like this. come to this island without at least getting out the car because it kind of goes like uh, like a Florida imagine a Florida it kind of goes down and we're just gonna make a u-turn and go back and here's a perfect uh, this is where we started at so that Sarah's place we stopped at was somewhere right here and now we've made our way I believe we're right here possibly and now we're gonna make our way over to where the water is gotta get close to the water can't can't end or can't come here without getting out the car. I think sometimes that we kind of lose our experience in a lot of places because we we will go to a place and we'll tour it on a bus. But when you do something like that, you really miss out on the experience, meaning, oh wow, oh, it's actually hot outside, or oh wow, it actually feeling the rain and feeling the wind, that all creates our experience. Remember, we're, we're sensitive beings. We have five senses that we know of officially and can prove and a lot of those senses, they kind of get desensitized if we're not out there and we're not, um, we're not actually using all of them. The touch, you're, you're touching the ground, you're like touching a tree, um, smelling what's going on around. You don't smell that when you're in a car. You don't feel what it's like outside. You don't really hear the sounds of outside because you're usually playing your music. So you gotta resensitize yourself to, to the real world. And that's where we're going here to get a better glance of the other side. I must say, probably the coolest thing about being here isn't it's an island, isn't that there's water surrounding, not that it's beautiful, but that it's so big 
that there's places where you could go and be totally undisturbed. Where can you go and have a whole, a whole pier, literally a whole pier to myself, no one's even here. But yet this, this area is crowded full of people. But it's just so big that everyone can have their own space and I think that that's important. And uh, okay, place is definitely, definitely approved. You have to come here. I re I'd recommend coming on an e-bike if it's not too hot, come early in the day. Or uh, I wouldn't walk here from the center, but uh, you could definitely take a car, or taxi, something out here. But definitely worth coming to. I don't know if I could think of a better place to end the vlog than here on an almost island, um, Presque Ile, here in Erie, uh, Pennsylvania. And I want to give just a special thank you to, to Visit Erie for sponsoring this video and for bringing me out here. And I, I love exploring this and I, I, I'm shocked I never heard about this or I never seen anything about it or heard anyone else talk about it and being here and, and being able to explore something, especially something so close to where I lived and didn't know about, it kind of makes me feel a little bit sad I didn't come here before, but at the same time I'm so grateful that I'm here and more importantly I'm so grateful that you all are here with me. So on that note, I'm going to walk around, chill out, put the camera down, or I actually already have left here. I'm just bringing, brought you back here to end the vlog. <laughs> and I want to thank you for being here. I appreciate every single one of you, whether this is your first video or your 5,000th video of me that you've watched. Um, I appreciate you being here. Your presence is always welcome. Everyone's welcome here. And I'll speak to you later. And in the meantime, everyone always remember to work hard, be brave, and don't forget to smile.